Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss about read line and write line method in Seesaw.net. So, in my last video, I discussed about the namespace and the main method. First, I am going to use console uh, class. So, right here, this is your defin uh, definition represent the standard input output. And uh, if you press dot, so about to write, so right here, the Two, two things is first is right and second is right line. So first time I'm going to use right to method and here I'm going to print I friends. And here let's copy this particular line. And let's execute the code. So look at the right line. So right line doesn't change the line of cursor. So look at the high friends. It's a print in the same line. And here this also print in the same line. And here place any key. So this also print in the same line. So the cursor doesn't change the line. So if you uh, want to change the cursor position. So here, press any line. So this, so if you want to print this one as new line, so you have to use right line. So let's use right line and execute the code. So look at there, high friends, and uh, here after that print high friends, and here after now this time cursor comes to the new line. So about to uh, right line method, write the specified a string value for the current line termination or to the standard output string. And this is the right uh, method, write the specified string value a standard output string. So that don't change and this right line that changes the cursor position. So if you are going to use uh, this one at here. So first time that print in the new uh, same line, here after that change and that print on uh, this one in new line, here after the cursor position that go down. So let's uh, execute the code. So this is uh, printing first and here after that change the line. So now of changing line this print and here after that change the line. So this point that so now this time cursor is there. So this is the difference between our right and right line a method in csr.net and uh, here after the next thing is the uh, read line method so at your if uh, console class dot if you press read so look at the first is read and uh, second is read line so read just like right and red line, just like right line. So the same things. And if you, you can use the red line, so at here, this is a selected red line. Read the next character from the standard input string. So that to read the character. And hereafter, or read the next line character from the standard input string. So here, this uh, right line and red line method that all comes in inside the console class. So let's uh, use right or red line and here. So uh, about the red line method, so whatever the user is going to enter, so that accept uh, by some variable. So we have to use uh, some variable. Take any variable, a string, a str. So you can take your string into the plot whatever. So this is a big. No, this is a video is for beginners, so that I am using here a string variable. So whatever user that going to enter, so that is stored into str. And uh, here, let's write the console class to print the value of str. So here, write and here I am going to print str. So here, let's execute the code. So this want to stop at least 
this first to that print hi uh, here after if you are uh, going to write to uh, str value like uh, hello here i enter sam so the output screen doesn't stop to stop the output screen you have to use console dot to read line one more time so this will take one input from keyword then after that turn it so now let's uh, execute the code so right here hi friends next time i'm going to use hi friend how or you so look at there uh, first time console dot right line so this is the double code so that it's uh, displaying hi friend here after or uh, at here that is uh, a console dot right line so whatever i'm going to enter so that receive by str so this how are you so that to uh, accept by str and that is to some uh, address and uh, some address uh, into the system and here after i directly console dot right line so here i am going to i printed str value so str value Store how are you so that by using console plus dot right turn method so that print or uh, here yeah, how are you now you can also give some meaningful things right here at here enter the name so here yeah. so this or display into the output screen and here yeah. Let's execute the code. So I can enter the name. I enter Sam. So I enter. This is so. Uh, Sam is displaying because whatever I, whatever I enter, Sam I enter. So that is step by str and uh, the here console dot right turn method. So uh, this are displaying into the output screen. So that means so. Uh, console dot read line that read the character from a standard input string so about the right line so that to print a specify a string value and here after one more thing so inside the right line you can also uh write to here i'm going to use my name and here this so I did. I used the plus operator. So plus operator here that used for to concatenate two strings. So my name is one string, and here this is a str. This is another string. So this two string concatenate. So let's uh, execute the code. Directly execute because in I used to. I did. I used console dot right line. So enter the name. So here i enter sammy so at here this is the display my name is sammy so first time my name and here after uh, i enter enter the name so whatever i enter so that uh, set by str so str value is now sammy and here uh, that print uh, my name and can capture it the sammy and here after if you are not going to use the plus operator so here so first we need to stop debugging so if you are not going to use the plus operator so here so give comma and here you need to give place holder so you have to use zero now execute the code one more time so enter the name i enter leon Right here, my name, and here zero is the placeholder of str. So str value go go to uh, at this point. So now uh, um, I enter the name Leon. So here my name and uh, str value. So zero place that display Leon. So my name is Leon. So another thing you can concatenate or uh, to uh, string. So right here. Enter laptop name. 
So that is set by S here and thereafter let's copy this particular line and here enter mobile name. And here I am going to change the variable str1. So the, here you can write the like this way my mobile name and here plus going to concatenate with str and here after interval cut my STR1 and here my laptop name and here I am going to concatenate with STR. So how does the program work? So this is a double cut so that displays to the output screen and whatever you enter um, into the mobile name so that uh, set by STR1 and here my laptop name so this are displaying to the output screen and whatever you enter so that is set by str so let's execute the code so my laptop name I enter here Dell and enter mobile name so I enter iPhone so right here my mobile name iPhone and my laptop name Dell so it's uh, getting the right output or you can use at here my mobile name, my mo here you can use placeholder like if you are going to use placeholder laptop slash mobile name and uh, so you need to for placeholder you have to specify it first is for 0 and uh, next for 1 next for mobile so first is for laptop and second for mobile so give the comma and first one str1 str and next is str2 so it not str4 so this str is for 0 so and this str1 is for 1 so let's so uh, execute the code so enter the mobile name and enter the laptop name so i enter lenovo and here yeah, i enter Samsung. So my laptop mobile name Lenovo Samsung. So this is the detailed description about row, right line and red line method in Csaw or .NET. So if you have any doubt related to this or, or this placeholder, so leave your comment. Definitely I will reply. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.